Hi, I'm Karen Beistead, photographer and artist, and this is my collaboration with Shepard Berry. I've known Shepard for many years, and I've been a great admirer of his work. Um, I mean, he is iconic in terms of being a street artist and being an art warrior for social causes. It's always actually been a dream of mine to have Shepard collaborate with me. And then organically, I ran into him this past Christmas at Winwood Walls, and he was admiring my stickers. I have these little Andy stickers, and he asked me if he could have some. So I told him I would come back the next day, and. I brought him the stickers and I also brought him a small portrait of Andy, a small like 10 by 10 print uh, as a gift. Then about a month and a half later, I got an email from Shepard saying that he really loved my portrait and that he would love to create an artwork piece based on my portrait. And so that's how it began. He had given me this photograph generously right. and I was, kid, uh, I was living with it for a while and really liked it and then I decided to just really look at it up close and I was like, damn, his eyes are amazing in this yeah. photograph. My whole thing was seeing the beauty in people yeah. and these are the modeling beauty pictures of Andy Warhol. Well, you know, I'm very experienced now in doing portraits and I know exactly what I'm looking for for a flattering illustration. Some photographs that are flattering as photographs, the way they're lit will not translate to my style as an illustrator. Because since I'm breaking things down into more contrasty layers, dramatic lighting from, from one side and slightly above is, you know, is what ideal. works, is ideal. A lot of the uh, photographs that were taken of him were paparazzi, or not paparazzi, but, you know, not sitting, so people right. just had to shoot whatever, you know, right. events. Yeah. You know, I lost those negatives for 25 years. I don't know if you know that. That's no, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, so I only found 10 out of 36 shepherds, so, so some are still missing. Mm. That's why I call them the lost world, so they're really the lost negatives. First I did the illustration. I cut my illustrations out of this material called ruby lith. So basically overlay your photograph with this ruby lith and I cut it. So I'm following the proportions and everything. Um, not exactly tracing because I'm stylizing and idealizing, but I'm going off of all the information that's there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm creating the deepest shadows, the, um, you know, the mid-tones and then the highlights mm -hmm. with, uh, with you know, three or four layers. Warhol's probably the, I won't say the most influential artist for me, um, but he's definitely one of the most. He was sort of a renaissance person and, you know, when you call someone a, a pop artist, I think that can make someone think just of a very specific 60s version of pop art, but I like the idea of a pop artist in a more general sense, somebody that wants to engage with broader culture. So, you know, he was the, the person who I think pushed that and a lot of people have, you know, in his wake um, been able to exist beyond just the elite art world thanks to Andy. So, of course, the way I operate, trying to connect with as broad an audience as possible, I owe a lot to Warhol. And I am just so excited about Well, that's this. what I always want when I collaborate with someone. You're incredible, you really are.